Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Dr. Prager. How are both of you today? Great. It's great. <laughs> it's great to be here. Wanted to make sure we could hear you. Wonderful. So let's get started with the questions I have. Dr. Prager, let's start with you. What constitutes pain as chronic versus regular pain? Well, when you have a an injury like fract fracturing an ankle or um, or even getting surgery, which is a form of an injury, you wind up with acute pain, and everybody anticipates that. But after three months, when the pain keeps feeding itself, it becomes chronic pain, which is a devastating condition that not only affects the patient, but affects the entire family and the ability to work. How serious is the burden of chronic pain to society? Well, that's a really important question. I mean, basically, we are losing $635 billion a year to chronic pain. That's almost two-thirds of a trillion dollars. That goes to medical costs, and it also goes to lost working capacity. Now, Andrea, um, the doctor talked a little bit about how it really affects society. How did chronic pain affect your life? Well, I was in my 20s, and I was working on a set, and I got a bad injury. Someone twisted my wrist, and I lost the use of my hand, and it caused me excruciating pain. And every day, I, I would wake up, I would take an opioid, and then I would do nothing. And it just kept getting worse and worse. I went from doctor to doctor, and I had two small children, and I couldn't really function. I was really couldn't do anything. And after years of going to different doctors and different therapies, I finally was referred to Dr. Prager, who suggested a spinal cord stimulator. And after trying it for one night, I called him and I said, oh my god, this was amazing. I had the first night of decent sleep in six years. Um, and we implanted the device, and since then my life has been a complete uh, different thing. I don't take any pain medicine. I started a business. I raised my kids on my own. And life is just a miracle to me. It's so great to hear you're doing so well. Doctor, with the opioid crisis named a national emergency, can you tell us about the non-addictive approach to treating chronic pain? Well, we actually have a technique called spinal cord stimulation, where we replace the drug fog with minute amounts of electricity. So electricity instead of medications, and that electricity is sent to the nervous system through a, a wire that sends a, a tiny signal that blocks out the pain signal in the spinal cord so that the pain information never gets to the brain. So not only do you stop feeling the pain, but you no longer suffer from the pain. So, Andrea, your doctor recommended you try a neuromodulation. So can you tell us again how it has impacted your life? Well, when I was in pain, I couldn't really function. I could do the minor things of daily care, but that was about it. And now, because I'm pain-free, I can uh, do all the activities I like. I have a business. I'm an event planner, so that's a very physical thing. I was able to take my kids to all their activities and really be engaged in their uh, upbringing. I travel, um, and it's really an amazing thing. I'm, I'm not in a fog. I am totally present, and it's made all the difference in the world, really. Doctor, lastly, what would you like people who may be struggling with addictive painkillers to know, and where can they go to learn more? Okay, well, you no longer have to be addicted to pain medication. You no longer have to be in the drug fog. Go to askaboutpain.com. That's askaboutpain.com, a website that we set up, the Neuromodulation Society set up, to provide a resource where patients not only can find out more about techniques that can control pain, but also find a list of board-certified physicians who are qualified and experienced in implanting these devices that control pain. Well, thank you so much for providing us information, and thank you so much for both for joining me. It's really been our pleasure. Thank you.